I'm Thierry Nivelle from Faxing Cloud, and today I'd like to show you an application that we've uh, developed with a, of a customer, uh, which is, uh, and, and, and through this application, show you two new features that are very, very interesting in Faxing Cloud, which are the, uh, the bootstrap uh, support, which allows to, uh, um, to run web applications which, which are responsive, which can run on any device, and also the Faxing Cloud, um, but the Faxing Cloud dashboard, uh, which uh, gives you the full control on your application while it's in production. So first, let's have a look at this application, which is uh, designed to uh, um, help uh, uh, the transaction in the real estate business between buyers and sellers to buy or sell houses or apartments or flats and to sign a document which is a, a, a compromise for the sale which is signed before the real sale and which is de described the, the, the house and the conditions and the, or that both parties can sign online. Okay, so here is the application. There, as you can see, you have four steps. This, uh, this uh, case is a pre-filled, so uh, the four steps are complete. Uh, so we have the description of the house, description of the people involved in the, in the sale, the, the conditions like the price and the financing, and the document itself is the promise. So you, for, for instance, you can see how the, 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 the house is described, and you can see here some information. And there you, you can have the, maybe the vendors, the people who sell the, see the description here. Oh, uh, by the way, we can see the same application in FaxPro as it's a Faxing Cloud application. We have the same code running in FaxPro here. So we can also see the house here. Uh, we can see the same form, but displayed differently, as you can see. With the same functionality, we can see the seller. We can modify the seller, and you can see that the, the, the forms are pretty different than what we can see in, in the web mode, as the, it's much more uh, clogged, it's much more small and difficult to read, and in web mode it's much easier. And also in, in web mode there is a big, a big advantage, that is that we can run in responsive mode, which means that the same form can be seen like here in an iPhone 7 or in an iPhone 8 Plus, which is a little wider. You can see where we keep the menu, which is still here. The four steps are still here. And then we have maybe, let's say, an iPad somewhere. Yeah, iPad. And we can tilt the mechanism. Ah, that's the benefit of using Bootstrap is that this fax for application has become a web application with the responsiveness that we, you can expect now from uh, web applications. Okay, so let's now get back to the application itself, uh, browse some forms like the price, detail of the furniture, okay, we can go here, we can go there, financing, interest rate, if you have a lower interest rate, you will change the price here, the monthly uh, reimbursement price. And then you go to the final step, which is the most interesting, is the promise. So the promise here, you, c you can see the kind of document that is, oh, okay, sorry, I need to rebuild the document because we made some modification. I didn't notice that. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and it's done. Okay, great. So I can see the document now, and you can see that here we have something very clean that is made by, by this application that, that is very attractive compared to the usual um, uh, sad documents that you can see. Here you have some nice, and, and the people just have to, to sign in the end. Okay, so we are on the user side. We have seen that we can go through the whole process. Okay, and get back here and maybe create another uh, another sale if you want uh, and, and stuff like this. But now what's interesting is that we can, w as the, the, the editor of this application, I want to have a control on it. I want to see what, what happens on this application. So what I can do here is, oh sorry, uh, is, is access what we call the Faxing Cloud dashboard. Uh, 
this Vaccine Cloud dashboard here is, is gives, gives me the full control on the application. Normally it's protected. Here we have, we, I, we already did, uh, uh, we did access previously, so uh, we had a direct access, but normally there is, a, there is a dialogue to access here and to give the, the credentials. So here you can see the number of requests that we've made, when the application started, three days ago, result is okay, and how many tables we have in the application data session. Uh, what are the settings that we have on this uh, data session? What are the general settings for FactPro here? Uh, how many forms we run? Now you can see we have 23 forms and we have some warnings here that this form is a little slow, you know, 2.9 seconds compared to the others which are closer to 0.8 seconds or 0.56 seconds. On this form we had 687 user action. So we know that it's, it's a pretty much used form. And here we have some properties on the screen or properties on VFP. If we take another example here, we can see that we have some, also some public variables that can be managed by the application and what, that we can see in this dashboard. We can see the value. So we have the control on what happens on the server through this very simple dashboard. Also we have the users. So, how many users do we have? And how many users do, did we have in the past? As you can see here, we can, we can investigate on the months before, or on the year before, but here we only have one, so it's not very interesting. It's a recent application. And maybe we can test on another uh, example, like here. You can see here how many, um, how many users we have had in the past months. Or here, if we can accumulate all the applications that are running on this server and see uh, what's been happening on the past month. Okay, and now the next step is uh, the server itself. The server itself is the machine on which we run, how many files we have in the time folder, how much memory we use, and uh, what is the version of Faxing Cloud that we're running now, and what is the, the version of Windows that we have, uh, it's a, a 2012 server in this case, so uh, we can have a, a lot of information and how many, what are the tables that the server itself use. So, as you can see, uh, we, we have a neat kind of adaptation of a Fox for application into a web application that is responsive and we can get a lot of out of this application out of this application. Okay, thank you for vi viewing this video. Sorry for my difficult English. Uh, I hope you enjoy that and stay tuned to have some more videos in the future. Thank you.